Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be looking at a wonderful new tool that has been introduced on the Simbrief website. Now many of you will know that a few months back Simbrief was acquired by Navigraph and the two have always worked very well together and has had plenty of integration uh, working in the past. Now though they've taken it to another level and they've added a fantastic new feature for those of you who like to fly old school navigation using just VORs. Since PMDG launched the DC-6 for Microsoft Flight Simulator, there was a huge increase in the amount of people that obviously wanted to fly using old school navig navigation, VORs and NDBs. And finding these within Microsoft Flight Simulator has always been rather tricky. They were also not always 100% accurate in the way they worked. If, of course, you wanted to fly using the old school navigation, PMDG to give us two options. You could still have a GPS radio in the DC-6 or you could use old school radio and just have a nav radio which tunes to VORs and also your automatic direction finder which tunes to NDBs. Creating a flight plan however that only used VORs is not always straightforward and in fact not even Navigraph itself in the app allows you to create a flight route which only uses VORs. In fact you can have upper airways or lower airways but that is it. And of course that's no good for old aircraft or old Cessna 152s perhaps that you like to fly using your navigation radio. Navigraph have now, through Simbrief, made this an option when planning a flight plan with Simbrief. Not only that, but if you are a Navigraph subscriber and you use Navigraph navigation data within Microsoft Flight Simulator, they have improved the accuracy of VORs. Things like how much power each VOR has, how far a VOR can be transmitted, as by default, Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't do this very well. So you may be trying to tune to a VOR, but sadly, you can't pick it up because you're too far away, even though you know from the charts that it's actually quite a powerful VOR are and you should really be receiving it. If you are not a Navigraph subscriber however, it doesn't matter for the sake of Simbrief as everything within Simbrief is free for everybody to use. So you can still plan your general aviation or old school navigation flight in Simbrief completely free. Let's have a look. So if you are planning a trip which is going to rely on just using basic navigation aids such as VORs and NDBs, there is now an option available through Simbrief to do this. If you head on over to Simbrief, and I'm just going to pop in two, uh, two different airports here. Uh, so let's say we wanted to go from Land's End uh, all the way up to the uh, north of Scotland. A nice uh, journey across the United Kingdom. And obviously, as per usual, Simbrief chucks out some information, and if you scroll down, it also gives you a route. Now, if you are flying an old Cessna 152, Cessna 172 without GPS, then we couldn't possibly follow the route that has been given to us. If we scroll down now to the route finder section, we can open that, and under route type we can select VOR only of course then you could also alter a couple of other things I'm going to leave them for the purposes of uh, this tutorial and if we then press on find route after a couple of minutes it will hopefully give us a nice VOR only routing that we will be able to use so now Simbrief has given us a routing which only uses VORs between the two airports. And as you can see, if I scroll down, we can see the routing that it has given us. And it's clearly not the most direct routing, but it's giving us the routing via VORs based upon us traveling at an altitude of 6,000 feet. Also, it knows how strong the VORs are, so whether we would be able to pick one up from the next. Now, I know because of local knowledge that there are VORs all the way up the back of the uh, of the United Kingdom. So we can see Manchester just there. We know there's a VOR just there. There's the Pole Hill VOR just above that. There's Dean Cross a little bit further up than that. There's even one over at Newcastle as well. I 
I believe. So there is a much more direct routing and the way to do this then is I'm going to now go up and change the altitude at which I want to fly this particular route. So let's go ahead and increase our altitude from 6,000 feet up to 10,000 feet. Remembering that VORs are line of sight and we can pick them up much further out the higher up we are. It only takes a second to do and now if we scroll down we've got a much more direct routing and you can see that the distance between the VORs that's been selected is much greater than it was previously. Remember I said a little earlier that VORs are line of sight dependent so even the terrain there's plenty of hills over Wales there's also the Pennines just to the east of Manchester so if we are low down then we're not going to be able to pick up those VORs due to interference from the terrain. Now that we're higher up however that's been sorted. You can then go ahead and create an operational flight plan just as you would if you were flying a commercial airliner and whilst this wouldn't actually be done in uh, in real life just for general aviation purposes what it does give you is a little bit of information on uh, the fuel that you're going to require as you can see here the flight that we're doing actually the flight time exceeds the aircraft range it gives us the routing and then just below if you go and have a look at the actual routing in detail it gives you everything you need but quite importantly as well it gives you the navigation VOR frequencies so you can tune these into your radios as you're flying along and you can help to use this to fly your route. Another great tool that has been added on the Simbrief website now is the ability to create a flight plan. Now whilst this has always been there in some form or other in the past, now it is using information from the Navigraph app. So those Navigraph users out there who used to create their flight plan in Navigraph and then copy and paste the uh, the flight routing into Simbrief to be able to get an operational flight plan, um, you no longer need to do that. So I've just popped in uh, two airports there. As you can see, I can come back down to the route finder, open that up. Uh, I can leave a uh, selected altitude there and then I can create the flight plan just by clicking the find route button notice of course that we also this time have left the route type on auto the Simbrief website now uses the same information that Navigraph would use to create your flight plan so as you can see everything is done nice and straightforward and it's all there waiting for you for you to then go ahead and create your operational flight plan. Other good things as well that have been added is you can now avoid specific airways, fixes, SID stars or even flight information regions if there's parts of the world that you do not want to fly over. Or you can actually include fixes and segments. So this is quite important if you are doing a GA flight and you know you're going to run out of fuel halfway through, you need to stop at an airport to refuel, you can pop these airport waypoints into this section so they will be included in the flight route that Simbri will create. So, so I think this is a great new addition to the Simbrief website, one that many of us will use for different purposes, but very important and incredibly easy. So well done to Navigraph and of course the Simbrief team uh, for adding this section. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do give the video a like. It really does help the channel and help other people to find the channel. Um, you can also, of course, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future videos or live streams that we do here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye bye for now.